Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So finally, the X360 emulator, the world's first Xbox 360 emulator for Android, is being developed by a PS3 developer ANN. Its beta version is finally out, and today we're going to try it. In this video, I tried some Xbox 360 games along with the complete setup. And despite this being such an early build, I saw some strong performance. So, this video is going to be a very interesting one, guys. Watch it from start to finish. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more great videos like this. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started with amazing videos. Okay, guys, I already have the early beta version installed. It's only 8 megabytes in size, brother. That's a very small size. And setting it up is also very easy. Just click on the three dots here. And here you'll find the set game directory option. Go to it. Open the folder where you've stored your Xbox games and select, use this folder, below to allow it. All your Xbox 360 games will be added here. Let's take a look at its settings. This is a very early version, so we won't be able to adjust many settings here. However, you can see a lot of options, but they're not clickable yet. To enable these options, you'll need to run any game and exit once it's running. Then, all the settings options will become visible. You can see everything is visible. We won't be doing many settings here, as this emulator is in its very early stages. This is my first time using it, so, it'll take some time to understand all the settings. But for now, all the games we're going to test here today, I've tested them using default settings. Most of the games I've tested here are mid-range games. So, let's start with our GTA Centrias. We're testing mid-range games because the emulator is still in its early stages. Like, very early, and you can't expect much performance here. However, we're still able to run Xbox 360 games. You can see our GTA Sentry is loaded properly. There were no graphical glitches in the world. However, the FPS is quite slow. The FPS is quite low, but it still handles Xbox 360 games quite well. You can also see the control layout. There are some minor changes here. You can compare it to the previous gameplay. The control layout is slightly different. There's no FPS meter here. So, I can't tell you the exact FPS you're getting, but overall, you can run 2D platform games like Earth Wars very easily. Then, I tried Denius and Ferb, Quest for Cool Stuff, which is also a 2D platformer, but its graphics are excellent and the controls work perfectly. However, using a controller will make it even more fun. Other platformer games like this run at a fairly playable FPS. Initially, the game can feel a bit heavy, but once the world loads properly, the FPS boosts significantly. The same thing happened with me. The FPS in this game was a little low at first, but later improved significantly. And guys, this emulator is still a very early build, so it may not work on some devices, and they've also implemented ads here. So, this time, you'll see ads here as well. Then, I tried running Dirt 2. The game started, but due to graphical glitches, we couldn't progress much further. That's one reason. I didn't test higher-end games here. Dirt 2 is a higher-end game for the Xbox 360, and only mid-range games are working well here. Higher-end games may not work, as the emulator is still in its early stages. So, don't rush. Be patient, let the emulator optimize further. Then, I tried another higher-end game, the Xbox exclusive Guys of War. The start button wouldn't press, and you can see the graphical glitches. There's a rather nasty graphical glitch here. Overall, guys, it's performing quite well for an early beta. It will be further optimized in the future, and then it will be available to the public. Currently, it's not available. It's only been released to a few people for beta testing. Right now, it's not working on all devices. It's working on a few devices, for example, my Snapdragon 8L, but it's not working on my IQ009, which has a Snapdragon 888. So that's why it's not available right now. You'll have to wait a little longer. It will be released when it's better optimized. That's all there is to today's video. If you liked the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel for more great videos like this, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye. Sayonara.